they might start charging you $30, $34 or $20, $14. It could be expensive for you after one year. But if you plan properly and if you execute properly, within 12 months, you should have enough money to pay like uh, Amazon SES hosting or DigitalOcean hosting, which costs more than like 400 or 500 US dollars a month. So you should be successful within 12 months if you plan properly. I'm saying this again and again that you need to plan properly. You need to plan properly. If you have proper plans, if you have the proper questions in place, you are always going to make successful and it's easy to be successful in the course business because if it was too much complicated, Baiju should have never come. An academy would have never come and they are investing huge amount of money. They have recently signed up Messi. Uh, some of them uh, like an academy made uh, serials, uh, sorry serials, not serials, uh, series, TV series like uh, Quota Factory on different kind of OTT platforms. So they are investing huge amount of money and they have the statistics because e-learning is a billion dollar industry right now and it will definitely grow with the time that are coming in the future because we are very busy in our life and we spend a lot of time commuting to our office, our educational institutions. So we need to uh, focus on online learning or e-learning as much as possible so that we can make utilize our time as much as possible. So if you buy your domain, if you buy your hosting and if you install WordPress and any LMS plugin, then it will be fine for you. And there are at least six to eight different free plugins available in WordPress. If you search with LMS, like Lifter LMS or Tutor LMS or like Sensei LMS, you will find several different solutions. Some of them work in different ways. So you need to check carefully that what features are available, what features you are going to need. But you can start with one thing. If you start with one thing and your course is ready after two or three months, you will understand automatically that the features I will need. I will need certificate feature, this plugin doesn't have that. I will need assignment feature, this plugin have that. But uh, this plugin has assignment, quizzes and certificate, everything together and it's affordable for me, then we'll be able to make a good decision. So there will be uh, like trial and error process for sure because no one knows which tool they are going to like or which tool they are going to feel comfortable about. So it is going to take at least two or three months maximum for you to understand which one feels better, then you will be good to go. But the initial timing for you to grow should be like uh, 10 or 12 months maximum if you can plan and execute properly. And in worst cases, after three years, you can definitely uh, bring success if you have a good customer base ready. So as I have mentioned earlier, if you have the people that are going to learn, if you have the skill that people are interested to know about, and if you can communicate properly and distribute it properly, then you will have success for sure. So there are three pillars of success. I'm going to say it again. The first thing is identifying the customer base. The second thing is identifying the topic. And the third thing is communicating properly or distributing properly. So if you focus on these three things, you're definitely going to be successful. And I'm going, I'm saying this from the past experience of last four or five years. I have worked for Tutor LMS, I have worked for uh, Master Study, right now I am working for Lifter LMS. So all of the LMS plugin have around at least 100,000 customers that I have uh, talked with or know about or have case studies or some of my ex-colleagues work with them and got to know about the insights that how they become successful and made at least 300k in a year. So if other people can make 300k, you can easily make 50,000, at least 100k easily. So the targets are easily fulfillable. You need to believe on yourself and you need to plan for success. So when you are trying to communicate, you might ask that how I can market my courses because you started your topic with like how I can do with very minimum investment. So marketing is expensive and digital marketers will say that you need to have very good amount of budget for graphics design, for promoting on Facebook. But I have personally seen that if you try to go through your friends and family, if you are making something for the Indian continent and Indian audience, then your friends and family could help. Your uh, different kind of cousins, your different in-laws, your different uh, friends can help you promote your content. And if you can give them a target of uh, five people, for example, how the MLM businesses used to work or like the pyramid scheme used to work. I'm not saying that you should do the pyramid schemes, but you can uh, recommend them that you should just bring five people maximum. If five of your relatives are bringing five people each, you have 25 students already. And in this way, if you can convince 100 people, then you will never have to look back.
So getting the first 100 customers is very crucial. If you uh, search about like getting first customers or why getting first 100 customers is very crucial, you will find different studies where they show and share with different kind of case studies and data that the first 100 customers work as an affiliate or their word of mouth encourages more people because if someone is using a tool, using a resources because education is also a tool these days to in, uh, lift our career or to uh, get promotions or get introduced to new people. So courses are also some kind of tool. So if you find some people that are interested in your tool, they also know the other like-minded people that might need this tool and also need to succeed in their life. So finding the first 100 customers is the most crucial part. After you have found them, then you can offer them or have one-to-one -one communication with them. Like I can offer you 30% uh, sales commission or like 50% sales commission if you can promote my product to 5 or 10 more people. So in this way, you can uh, exponentially grow and without making any investment in advance because when you are sharing with your relatives or friends and saying that I will offer you some kind of sales commission, you are not paying them in advance. If they bring sales, you are giving them a cut from that sales. If your affiliates or the students are bringing you sales, you are giving a cut from that sale. So they are helping you get the money and you are paying all the expenses from their money. So you are not investing in advance. This might sound a little bit complicated, but if you start working on the way, you will definitely find your destination. So uh, that's it for me. If you have any questions, I had a question. uh, could you give him a mic? No, I can. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear it clearly. Okay, so, if my goal is to make money from courses, right? My biggest threat is piracy because someone can easily record it and then distribute it for free. So, how do you deal with that? Okay, so uh, when you are starting nobody knows about you. So if you fear that my content will get stolen, then uh, it will be a very big wall in front of you and you will be never be able to start. So for example, when Hindustan Unilever started selling the soaps, they definitely knew someone is going to copy our content, copy our advertising, copy our packaging, copy our size and pricing and do the same business. And many different companies are actually doing it, but they are coexisting together. And when as a Hindustan Unilever, you are introducing a brand like Lux, you have a different kind of position. And when someone else is copying you like Himalaya or someone like that, they have their own positioning. They are trying to bring different kind of USP like Harbor products or someone is trying to have their USP as like we have the best fragrance. So if you create different positioning, it's not possible to compete in the same position. For example, Unacademy and Baijus are not competing in the same uh, category. So you have a different category and when you get famous, when people start copying, you are going to have enough money to afford the lawyers or enforce the laws or have different kind of lawsuits. There is a thing called DMCA, Digital Millennium Act or Digital Millennium some kind of act like that. You can submit DMCA reports to hostings and different kind of domain owners when people are copying your content. But in some continent or some countries, there are different kind of rules like if something matches 70% to a thing, then it's not a piracy or not a copy. But if, if it matches more than 70%, then it's a copy and it can be uh, reported to the law enforcement agencies and they can take a step. But when people do piracy, like they're copying your content, for example, LinkedIn learning, they are the most pirated content, I guess, and people record their courses uh, most and spread over other torrent sites or other sites. So they usually use a desktop software. So I work for the web industry which runs on a web server remotely and you are viewing it on your browser. So most, the highest amount of thing you can do, you can disable the right click so that people cannot find the sources and they cannot uh, download the videos directly. Or the highest amount thing you can do, you can host your videos on Wistia or different kind of video hosting solution where they encrypt the video delivery source what can, that pre, uh, directly cannot be downloaded. But people usually do a very simple hack, they use a screen recording software. So that, is, that sits inside their computer and you do not have access to their computer. So there is no way you can stop them. So this is why we can say that law enforcement agency, we do not prevent crime. After the crime happens, we try to punish people. So this is how the entire world is working. So I think we should go the way the world is working at this moment. So this is the only solution we have. Like when we are starting, we should not be uh, 
anxious about people copying our content we should only care about the destination the way we are going because we know believe and understand that what we are doing how we are doing and what we are teaching we are the one experts here the people who are copying they are actually our followers and there are different kind of uh, theories that for enough okay hello everyone my name is uh, sekanda badsha i came from dhaka bangladesh so it's a separate country different country so i guess uh, i'm not sure if i'm only the one from the outside i guess i have my friend ivan mainon kabir he will be speaking later on the panel discussion so my topic is about uh, teaching online without making any major investments or uh, having any technical skills because one of the major misconceptions about teaching online that you need to be like byju's you need to be like udemy or you need to be like coursera and you need to have like very premium quality of videos or like very uh, professional quality of videos but how i have seen people making videos and how people earn their livelihoods or making passive income they didn't start with a very huge income so for our southeast asian subcontinent i think we have very good amount of teachers and our teaching profession is uh, far more better than uh, organized than any other places so we also have the audience or we also have the uh, client base or customer base who would be interested to learn on their own pace from the comfort of their home because we live a very busy life these days so this is why i'm trying to encourage more people to come in online teaching so my topic will be morely encouraging people to start teaching online so this is for starters and people who have not started yet so uh, any of you teach online already or do you have any courses online okay so uh, could you please share your topic the topic you teach online i do courses i am a student now. okay so you are learning online okay you are not a teacher so you might have questions like uh, how can i start teach online or how i can make passive income because passive income has been a, a very common buzzword these days where people want to make money even if they are sleeping and they are not actively working so online teaching can be a way to make passive income and teaching online or having an e learning course is the similar as teaching inside the classes so mostly people record videos and let the students learn on their own pace but if you want just like the coaching classes you have in india you can l teach live in zoom calls or google meet calls or use different kind of conferencing solutions to uh, help the students learn in real time ask questions in real time and have a discussion in real time but if you want you can also record the videos and leave them for the students to purchase enroll and learn any time and also have different kind of quizzes or assignments to assess the students and understand their learning and issue them a certificate you can do this manually do manual assessment for uh, essay type of questions or you can uh, take interviews manually and award the certificates manually and many different solutions offer uh, awarding certificates automatically when you uh, have completed the quizzes and assignments and earned a passing grade so some of the examples i have already mentioned that byju's and an academy and udemy master class these are some of the examples of uh, online learning platforms formats of e learning could be uh, many different ways so it can be audio based courses for example if you are teaching guitar if you are teaching piano and you are not showing the instrument you are just discussing how a tone should be or how you should plan things so in that case audio based courses can also help you or if you are a spiritual speaker or a motivational speaker where you are coaching people to come out of depression come out of anxiety then audio courses might help because people uh, like to listen this kind of stuff when they are sleeping so they are not watching anything they are trying to stay away from the blue light just listening to a calm voice telling them or guiding them to fall asleep or forget about their anxieties or calm their mind but uh, the most common format is the video format which are people interested to see and learn and understand for example if you are teaching physics if you are teaching math then uh, teaching in a video course uh, might be very helpful for you 
but some of the people also uh, follow the text format they just uh, offer some kind of text just like the books or it could be a note and it could be a pdf file which people can download and edit and use on their own you have seen that you can uh, edit pdf file these days and fill up different kind of information uh, there and also you can have powerpoint slides and presentation just like the way i am doing so you can have your face at the corner of the screen and describe and use the powerpoint slide as to describe the things you want and some of the people use a hybrid mode for example i watch courses a lot from hubspot academy it offers courses on digital learning and digital marketing uh, social media marketing seo so they use different kind of resources to help people understand what they're learning so they offer pdf guides different kind of pdf guides they have their powerpoint slides that they use on the video so that people can watch and have a look uh, in a better way and also the video is also there so hybrid mode is also uh, a common thing that people are following these days so if you are interested in text and audio courses then uh, this one could be very easiest and it would need very little skill because for text based courses you just need to type and it's okay if you type on a mobile or use a notepad because these days we all have a smartphone and uh, for audio courses you can also use your smartphone's app to record the audio and some of the audio apps offer you like cropping feature or if you feel that cropping an audio is a burden for you then you can just use the play pause button or the play stop button to record the audios in a chunk and just join them later from a desktop app and audio and text also takes very little space on your laptop so if you have a low configuration laptop or just using your phone to record the audios or type out the text then uh, it is better to have like it is not required to have very expensive device and you can use different kind of uh, smartphone apps for planning and production and you need to have different kind of scripts because if you are talking on the fly without uh, any kind of having script or queue in front of you you might mumble or you might take a little bit of time or you might use some of the words that are not politically correct because your course is available to everyone and sometimes the courses might even go viral and people might start coming in a flock but then again they might find something that is not politically correct and there could be some kind of issue so as a teacher we need to be careful about what we say how we teach recently there was uh, some issues with uh, public exam questions where some religious sentiment got hurt so this is why i'm saying that that we also need to be responsible sometimes and uh, the last thing is if you use desktop apps like google doc or audacity it is going to give you a very competitive edge because audacity is a free audio editing app and it uh, helps you to record stereo audios or different kind of uh, add effects or remove noises and google doc also helps you uh, type on the fly sync with the cloud so you never lose your content so even if you lose your mobile phone or your desktop dies your content will be there so this is why i'm recommending these two tools and for slides and decks it's better to use a desktop because you will be designing things shuffling a couple of things so it might not be comfortable for you on a mobile device and you can use tools like canva and pixlr to design those slides because canva is a free tool and they offer very good resource for uh, building different kind of slide using different kind of uh, icons and images and everything but if you need more different kind of images and real life images as an example then you can use unsplash and free pick to help you uh, make those slides interactive or easily understandable video based courses is a long term thing but it's still easy and if you have just a smartphone you can buy a stand for like 100 rupees or around 50 rupees to use the phone on a stand and record the video and these days you can use your bluetooth headphone to start recording and stop recording so you can just use a bluetooth earbud or different kind of even the wired earphones also work uh, on the call receiving buttons work on the for the play or pause button so those can also help you and if you have a whiteboard at home you can use that but if seems uh, if you think that the whiteboard is expensive then you can use just a plain formica sheet and you can paste it on your wall because it will be the same deal the whiteboards also have a formica sheet on top of it and if that is not available you can ask for a melamine board that we use for our furnitures you can use that if you have a glass sheet you can use that or if you just have a plain surface like an enamel painted uh, surface that can be washed easily you can use it as a, a whiteboard as well 
for the videos and uh, if you want to you edit the videos or if you think you want to add some kind of subtitles some kind of different titles or if you want to use different kind of animations or want to show some kind of meme or videos or different things like gifs then you can use da vinci resolve i think this one works on you uh, this one works on windows i'm not sure i'm just suggesting is uh, the tool that i know of and i usually use imovie for video courses it's available free of cost on mac os and you can